What's up everybody, this is Tristan with Steelhouse Fabrication. We're based out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, and this is what we do. We build modular systems that transform everyday cargo trailers into fully functioning camping vehicles. Right here I'm looking at an outdoor rear kitchen that is completely modular. It is actually attached to this e-track, and you can actually take it out in about two minutes with three-quarter wrench. Uh, this packs or attaches right to that, so basically with a ratchet, Exactly. Um, you just unratchet it and then pull this entire so unit out. You actually take so you take these nuts off with a ratchet, like you said, and you drag it to the side to get it off of this bolt because this bolt is actually going through the frame and it's clipped into e track. It's kind of hard oh, okay. to see from here, but we can actually see it perfectly in the other one. Oh, okay. And so once it's off the bolt, all you have to do is pick it up and put it out, and you have a dolly or a furniture mover. You can move it around easily on wheels. We have five gallon fresh water, a five gallon gray water. And in this box is actually a 56 amp power battery with a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. And that's powering two outlets, three USBs and our water pump. So we do option two different size of solar. We have our 56 amp power, which is just like in this box. And we have a 105 amp hour battery with a matching 90 watt solar panel. We do only do portable panels because like I said, these do come out of your trailer. So there's no point in hard mounting panels. So we do run Zamp solar panels and Lion Energy batteries. And we come along to the sink and stovetop area. You can see we have a two burner stove and our 10 foot propane line. You do always wanna keep your propane bottles outside. You never wanna sleep with them. And our sink has been on this whole time. So I can flip it on and it drains right into our waste. If you need more than five gallons of water, you can pick up these five gallon cans at any store and you can actually have 20 to 30 gallons in your trailer and if you run out of water, you just replace your can. That's all you have to do. And this is in our living series. So inside this trailer, it's a little dirty. We're at Overland Expo right now. It's a little dusty. This is a five foot sofa sleeper. It actually folds down into a full size bed and it actually folds up against the wall. So that way you can actually have all of your camping gear inside out of the elements. So you don't have to worry about theft. You don't have to worry about it getting rained on and it's fully on e-track. You can pull this couch out in about 30 seconds and you bring it out this door if you need a cargo trailer again. And so, and you guys sell these units, you sell the couches and you sell the mount uh, sell for the, the tents. So we build our own trailer roof racks. The only roof racks that have been available for the cargo trailer market have been for contractors and ladder racks. And the problem with those for camping trailers, they stick up about two feet and they leave about six inches of space between the trailer and the ladder. So for rooftop tent, that's not really ideal because you're sticking up too tall. So we only leave about two inches. And if we actually come over to this side, you can actually see it. So we leave about two to three inches in between our tent and our trailer just to keep that air gap. But we manufacture all of our roof racks in-house. They are available on our website as well as our modules. And for shipping on these modules, we do offer free shipping in the lower 48. So they do come to you in a truck on a pallet and it's completely saran wrap. So all you have to do is cut the saran wrap, lift it off the pallet, take out your solar panel, fill a jug with water and you're ready to go. So as cargo trailer wise, this is a V-Nose 5x10. I do recommend getting a V-Nose because it actually, because it is a 5x10, the interior space is actually 11.5 feet because it is a V-Nose. If you have a round nose, it is a truly 10 foot. So you're actually losing space. Oh, okay. And what's interesting about that is that people say, well, with a round nose, you have a bigger tongue, so you can put a tongue box. Well, uh, personally, I would rather have a smaller tongue box and more living space. But it's completely up to you. It's completely customizable. You can even go to a dealership and say, hey, I want a cargo trailer that's completely insulated. Well, they will tell the manufacturer that they need an insulator trailer. They'll do it at the factory before they even put up the wood. And it's a lot cheaper and easier than you doing it yourself. How much does this weigh fully outfitted? So this fully outfitted, this trailer weighs 1,300 pounds. So our kitchen, kitchen module weighs 150 pounds. This is about 40 pounds. And dry, this is about 1,050 to 1,100 pounds. This is where it gets awesome. This module is $2,400. This trailer is $3,000 from any dealer across the US and our sofa sleeper is 569. So for about $6,000, you can have a complete brand new teardrop unit that has a completely removable kitchen and it's not a dedicated teardrop. You don't have to leave it in storage. You don't have to pay a storage fee. You can use it for work. If you're moving, you can use your cargo trailer. And when it's time for fun, you pack everything in and head out on the trailer. 
So the one we were just in was a 5 by 10. This is a 6 by 12. So we actually do get an interior living space with a 6 by 12. Unlike on our 5 by 10, you do have to crouch down. You don't can't stand up all the way. But in this one, we have plenty of room. This dinette is attached to E-Track. Everything we do as Steelhouse Fabrication is attached to E-Track. So we take this table out, we fold it up. These come down right here, if I move this pillow. This comes down, you drop your third leg, and then on each one, it creates a bed right here. And then when it is in bed configuration, you can fold it up against the wall, it clips to the wall, and this becomes cargo area for dirt bikes, mountain bikes, kayaks, whatever you guys take to the mountains. And if we actually come to the front, So this right here is a full-size six and a half foot module. This is meant to be inside a trailer, but it doesn't have to be right here. It is still on E-Track. So if you don't like the placement of this module, we can put it wherever you'd like. Right there are the E-Track clips. So before you put this module, you do clip in the E-Track and then you drop your module with a dolly and you slide it over the bolt. You put a nut on it and you're good to go. This is attached directly to the upright frame of the trailer. Like I said, you can put them wherever you want. This is my personal favorite setup where you have a front kitchen and a rear dining area. You can put this module with this partition wall against the wall and this whole trailer will be one big space. Or you put it in the back of the trailer and you can move the dinette to the front. It is completely up to you. That whatever the consumer likes. Now this module right here is $2,500. If you notice, this one does not have a stove. This is called our culinary, and the other one was a culinary pro. In the size of an outdoor rear kitchen. This is in the size of a six and a half foot tall module. On our website, we do specify heights if you want a big solar system, a small solar system, or stove. It's all right there on our website for you to choose. Like I said, this one's $2,500. Our dinette sleeper is $569. This 6x12 Venos, which actually gives you true 13 and a half feet of living space versus a round nose of 12 feet. This whole rig costs $7,000, just a 1,000 more than your teardrop. So if you do like your teardrops, definitely grab a teardrop, but for 1,000 more dollars, you could have a fully living inside trailer. And again, if you need a cargo trailer, it takes five minutes. Take a three-quarter wrench, take off your nuts off those all threads, put a dolly underneath it, and you can wheel it out the ramp, put it in your garage. Yeah, the website is uh, website Steelhouse. is steelhousefab.com. Our Instagram is also steelhousefab. And check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Steelhouse Fabrication.